good snack. One hundred and one degrees Fahrenheit. It's nine hundred and fifty two miles on the odometer. It is Sunday, July fourteenth of two thousand and twenty four. Welcome back to the Please Subscribe Show. Actually, thank you so much. If this is your first time, please subscribe. We welcome you here. Uh, here's Kitty and um, the co-creators, Linda, my wife. And we uh, I've been a performer for about 30 years, and now I'm writing plays. I was writing screenplays, but I decided to return back to the theater because that's where I started. I'm writing a play called, um, and now we're going to head off to delivery. I might hang on just for a minute to see the butterfly. There's a butterfly right down the curve of this, uh, little bend. Watching a thing on Jim Carrey with Scott on tape. I put Scott on tape in the play just on the television now. And there it is. The butterfly. That's something. There's also a cat in my play that can be played by a person. It's on the stage the entire time. But a lot of time it hides. The cat will hide so you don't always see the cat. I made a note in, in the uh, play about that. You don't always see the cat. But the cat does uh, come around every once in a while. But he's always on stage the entire production. It looks like now this could be like a, a pretty long play. It depends on how quick the actors talk. And this episode's brought to you by Hyundai. A nice motorcycle, as long as it's street legal. All right. Five seventeen ten four point four. All right. Sense refueling. Refueling. All right. There's a skyline. Fort Worth, right over the Trinity. They do have the go-karts going at Rockwood. There is the go-karts. And don't forget about mini golf. Golf, 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 golf. In Fort Worth, right off University. So, Ronald Reagan was shot by Hinckley and he had a code name for the Secret Service. They called him Rawhide when they brought him in. And he survived it. You know, Ronald Reagan, it pierced his lung, but he still survived it. It was, it was far, far more deadly, I would say. Um, but it was, it wasn't, it wasn't, the headshot never happened with Ronald Reagan. It was, it was mostly just right right where his, his ribs were. Um, a few Secret Service agents too took the bullet. Now in this case, what happened yesterday, I'm just wondering if the, the code name was um, Little Rascal, because I know Trump was in the Little Rascals, a modern day version. I'm just curious if I got it right or not. Still thinking about a cat named Crook, which is the project idea and um, I don't know we'll have to see it, we'll have to see how things get the possibility that we might try to do a feature um, we might I mean it's tough to do because you have to schedule with everybody I found one actor I know Linda might try to participate but on days off you know be like a two hour shoot for the days off and, and things like that. But it's crazy times right now. And um, we wouldn't be able to use 17, the song from Sharon Van Etten, because I, you know it would just be too risky to get copyright against the feature. We might could cover it though on the guitar. Maybe, we might, we might could do that. We might could cover it. Come to a skyline shot right here. I 
And just to let you know, I, I don't, um, I don't like what happened to our former president yesterday. Um, I, I don't agree with um, gun violence and going that far over politics. It happens in a lot of foreign countries. It's happened here a few times. Usually it's a lone gunman, like with Hinckley. Uh, it had to do with mental illness, with crooks. I think it's gonna be about the same. His name was, his name was um, Thomas Matthew Crooks. Uh, I think it's a lone thing. Um, I have to say one thing though about all of this. I was anticipating it because of the heightened energy. When it becomes that important, when politics becomes that important. I think what the White House and what the country is uh, missing is the church. Uh, they're missing prayer, the mentioning of prayer. There are people that are praying for everybody in this situation right now. The Pennsylvania governor, everything that's happening, he actually has sent out his prayers. And I think that's the right direction is that none of us are going to be perfect. We're all born um, guilty. Okay. This is, this is what the Bible tell, tells us about. And um, we're all born sinners. I pray uh, for Trump's family and for Trump for healing. I know we have fine doctors. I know he's in uh, a safe place. And um, I also pray for the family of Crooks, for Thomas Matthew Crooks. I pray for his family and for understanding in the country. I pray this brings glory to the God, uh, brings glory to God uh, Almighty and in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. There's one of those little free libraries. They're all over the place now. You can just trade books right there. It's usually done with the neighborhoods. It's a little cul-de-sac. find a better spot and temporarily um, since this is all full here and this alleyway should be okay just for now yeah that should be fine I'm gonna use this as a little parking spot to drop off the Italian foods and pizza Six. Oh, guess I did. Never mind. I spoke too soon.
something peaceful about this place. Security's a little low, but it's good for the delivery. Well, at least it is today. I thought stair five might be okay. Check stair five when we leave. Uh, wait a minute. Are we going up or down? Here we got some direction. Probably a cr Oh, nice. Yeah. They've got pull rules and everything. It's probably on the other side. All right. A little complex, but not. We got storage units. Cool. Here we go. The little tiny mixed dog, and uh, they knew it would get kind of grumpy, you know. So I always use the excuse, Well, he's just smelling the cat on me because I got a cat, and they just kind of smiled. The dog was, and I, I just, you know, I went, um, Okay, and they go, Oh, he doesn't mean it. Like, it's like, How's your day going? So it's going fine. Two dog came up. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. He just smells the cat on me. It's all good. 745 4, 2.4. I like these little setups, these little tight little apartments run by private landlords. Have you ever seen the rain do, 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 shining down a sunny day? I want to know, have you ever seen the rain coming down on a sunny day? Sorry, I was doing a lyric exercise. All right, they hunt for apartment, whatever. These are more like um, duplexes. Yeah, at least we're gonna do a phone call since it has no, no apartment on the outside. Man, it took me way off course. I guess maybe, I don't know if I put Avenue in or something, but I called the guy, I remember the, where it is, right by St. Paul Lutheran's. Anyway, about nine minutes away, but I see this over here. Go ahead, this is the wrong area. I've got to go to St. Paul Lutheran. Look at these little kitties. You saw him under that truck. I think it's beating the heat and the shade. Cute, two little kittens. One's a tuxedo right there. Okay. Eh. Alrighty then. Across town. Must be another road with terrace in it. Alright, eight minutes. Um, we'll get there at 804. About four miles. bridges this one is probably the Jacksboro Highway Bridge that one's the White Settlement Bridge right there on the other side and I'm, I'm on the Jacksboro Highway Bridge and it's both connected by this art project 
I think it looks like a spring mine from Call of Duty. One of my favorite games, but not my favorite. I like SOCOM and Skate 3. <clears throat> but yeah, it's just because I played a lot of SOCOM for about, eh, three and a half years every night. <laughs> I was on a SOCOM um, clan. We had our clan out of, it was out of Boston. I even tell you the name of it. I don't know if they're still around. They're called Black Heaven. <clears throat> and um, we, you know, it was about Navy SEALs, you know, meeting up and you could do rescue missions. This is all on uh, PS3, PlayStation 3. But when we we play in like in an, um, an online room, so it was basically like uh, close combat, you know, things like that. So it was working as a team, and then you had a little earpiece that you would wear. And I, I was pretty good with the AK for some reason. AK shoots a little crooked. And then there was the, um, they had a gun called M4A1, A4A1. And then of course there was a sweet M16. But no one really used that one a whole lot. They always liked the SOCOM. Um, it's like a cartoon game almost, but I don't, I don't know. I mean, if you're a military type, they sometimes the guys would be playing from overseas in like a tank or something, <laughs> or they'd be in like, I'd be overseas during combat almost, taking a break, and they'd play with people from the states. I think I don't know. At least they said they did. But our 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 clan was mostly from Boston. But we I was we we're all over from all over the states. One leader did. Did pretty good. We we were almost undefeated pretty much. It's a fun game. Called Navy Seals or it's it's basically SOCOM Navy Seals. SOCOMs I I think it means. Um, all right, so SOCOM, I think it means Special Ops Combat. Yeah, Special So is Special Ops, and then COM is Combat. Special Ops Combat. And then, like, in the actual game game, because they have a story within the game, you could do uh, rescue miss missions and stuff like that. Kind of stuff that you would see in uh, that movie, one of my favorites, Catherine Bigelow's movie. Uh, Zero Dark Thirty about the I I don't know what you would really call that um I don't know what you really would call that the Seal, Seal Team Six was behind it I'm trying to think what the, what you would name it hope I turn on the right, right road um. Obama, uh, sorry, I never talked about this that up. Well, Obama was behind it, but um, there was a, F a female FBI agent that caught Osama bin Laden. Um, Obama was in office at the time, but it, the game, I guess, was it could have been. Either they, I don't know if the game worked together with the movie, but it was, it was just kind of somewhat similar. Here we go. I think we're okay here. Let's see. Yep, we might be able to do a turn here. I'm going to find out where this terrace is. There's two terraces in Fort Worth. This might be an important little vlog. This is St. Paul Lutherans. This is one where I did a lot of the spirit. Good light. John 6 3. And then that's the little apartments that uh, they're like stones. They're really cool. Got some IV on it right here. Sunset Terrace. See where it says Daggett? There's also a street just called Terrace. But you gotta remember Sunset. Okay. Got to remember Sunset. I was talking to Fran about hope and faith. You know, faith and hope are very close. You have faith in your heart, you go with hope. I think love is in there and charity never hurts and charity always wins. 
I think it does because it says in the Bible that you are nothing without charity. So if you can learn to be a giving person, you'll go very far on this planet. Very far. Keep on loving you, Ario Speedwagon. Probably one of the most successful rock bands, other than Van Halen and Metallica. If you if you if you count Metallica as a rock band, they're more like hard rock. But when it comes to old school rock, you want to go with Ario Speedwagon. They're they're pretty good. And then there's a lot of other ones too. I'm kind of old school. I keep on loving you. Oh, 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 oh,